Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for coming to the special call meeting of the uh, city of South Fulton. Uh, I'd like to remind everybody that around this time when you leave here, please go to the National Night Out at uh, 6385 LA Fitness uh, Family Dollar on National. Yes, yeah, 6385. Please, please, please go out and see our public safety officials and others, games and stuff for the families. And I understand that uh, they, uh, the police chief because the red, I don't know if that was a joke. Give me one more. He said she did. Also, I'd like to recognize for everybody, uh, the Tila Cromwell, I raise your hand, Tila. Tila is that she's a graduate of uh, your area in uh, Nice View. And she, she was shadowing me today. So I showed her all the good stuff. <laughs> 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 showed her all the good stuff. All right. Uh, Mr. Gregory, you call the roll. Mayor William Bill Edwards here. Mayor Pro Tem Mark Baker. Council Member Catherine Rao. Council Member Carmely Fidelis. Council Member Helen Z. Willis. Here. Council Member Naeem McGillier. Here. Council Member Rosie Jackson. Here. I'm here. <laughs> and Council Member Glee, present. Mr. Mayor, you have a board. Okay, at this time, uh, Greg, I'd like to open the public hearing. Okay, Mr. Mayor, as requested by you, to uh, give some announcements. The purpose of today's public hearing is to hear from the public regarding the advertised tentatively adopted millage rate. If you are interested in speaking and you have not already done so, please complete a speaker card and turn that into Margaret back there in the back with wearing orange tonight. Um, speakers will be given two minutes each to speak regarding the millage rate. And if anyone has a specific question unrelated to the millage rate or, or related to the millage rate, Department heads are here and on hand to address any of your specific concerns following the public hearing. Lastly, I would ask that you make your comments uh, germane or specific to the advertised millage rate for the millage rate public hearing. Okay. I'm going to call the first speaker. And our <laughs> first speaker is Mr. A.W. Davis. How many members of the billionaire class 
are willing to invest in this economy. Michael Davis had a good idea when he had touched with Warren Buffett. If we can encourage other billionaires other than Arthur Blank, I think we'll find that we'll have a better future. Enjoy your day, and as always, we call this each Thank you. Mr. Ronald, thank you. Good evening. Uh, I was opposed to citizenship from the get-go, but now that we are a city, uh, and, and I knew taxes were going to be raised, I, I don't like uh, the quickness in, uh, of, the, of how it's going to be raised, and when I see 80 something percent raising, that really frustrates me. On an 80, 80 something percent raising tax, that, that, that's not right. And that's not what we elected y'all to do to raise our taxes. 80 something percent. He may be for the proposal, I'm not. Because if 80 percent, 80 plus percent ain't right. Uh, I, I, I don't, I, I'm flustered, I'm flustered. We elected y'all to do what we want you to do and, and make us a city and then hope. I want you to make us whole, I want you to make us a great city. But not at no 80 percent increase. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Next. Are there any other speakers for tonight's public hearing on the village rate? There being no other speakers, I close the public hearing on the village rate. I move to close public hearing on the village rate. Second. Probably move to second in discussion. Hearing none. Let's go. item on the agenda and that is the matter of adopting a resolution which sets the millage rate. Right. Staff? I'll accept the uh, motion. Yeah. So I move that we adopt the proposed millage rate. Um, Oh, okay, Frank. They said they want to explain. Yeah, they want Frank to explain to this. I'm doing a discussion. Well, they were yeah. going to do it during the discussion. That's what I was saying. Okay. I move that we approve the rate of eleven point five seven nine meals for twenty eighteen. Second. Property move the second. At this time, we have a discussion. Frank, okay. would you want to come up and say no? More so, than saying something. Could you address? Sir, could, could you have to address the second of the company? Oh, yes, the 80% is clear that Right. Yes, yes, yes. So, next one, sir. Sir, this is good. Sir, don't go. We're, we're about to answer your question. Okay, go ahead. Go, but, but in terms of other people who want to be here, go ahead. So, 2017, the city of South Fulton adopted the marriage rate at the 7.149, and Fulton County adopted marriage rate of 4.430. If you add the two, they come up to 11.579. Fulton County had 4.430 meals because of the services they provided before we became a city, and that was from January, February, March, April. When we became the city for the remaining month, we had to get the balance of it, that was 7.149. 
and this is what it was last year. We had it. This same mirror grade was the same one that was 2016, and 2017 we had this one of 7.149. And there has been a, we call it a rollback. So the rollback has been 0 0.930. If you remove the rollback, which is this 9.30, you end up with a you end up with a 6.219. And now we are bringing it back because Fulton County is not there this year. Fulton County was only one time to recover their four months uh, expenses that they incur. This year is everything we've got to Fulton County, I've seen of South Fulton. So if you add the 7.149 mills, plus 4.430 mills, that was for Fulton County, you come to the same 11.579 mills. <coughs> this is the same that was 2016 and 2017. The thing is, if we remain with a, now it will no longer be 7.149, it will be 6.219. If you remain with that, that means the city has to remove some services because we will not have enough money to provide all those services. Remember last year it was only for five months. So this is the, what, 2017, and this is 2018. In green that you are seeing here in green is the tax exemption that most of you did not see them when the assessment went out because the food and county uh, tax assessor for God to include the uh, homestead exemptions. So this 663 million, 289 and 510 will be included in the tax bills when they go out. When the Fulton County Tax Commission, they sent the bills, this ta uh, homestead tax exemption will be included. Now here's the calculation of what we had last year, 7.149 mills. That means if we go back to that, we are going to raise 20 million 935. If we go to this tax neutral, which is our base now, 6.219, we are going to raise 18 million 211. That money will not be enough as you have seen the budget and you are encouraged to come next week, Tuesday the 14th, when the budget will be presented to the council that you see what you are adopting today, what the council is adopting today, what it will provide money to, what type of services. So there will be budget here, budget presentation and budget hearing here next week on the 14th of August. And the public is encouraged to come. This is what is being proposed. And what is being proposed is the same mail, as I've said, 2016, 2017. 11.579 mills. That 11.57 mills will raise 33 million 907 936. As you see here in red, there is this short four term repayment. Short term repayment, this is a, to do with the tax and special not that we borrowed last year. We borrowed 12 million at the beginning of our city vote in May and we have not yet paid. They gave us this money because we promised it will come from tax. This amount is due December 31. How do we have 86% tax increase? In 2018, proposed mirror rate is the same as 2017 combined mirror rate of 7.149 mills for state of South Fulton and 4.430 mills for Fulton County. Here is the calculation. 11.579 mills less our base 6.219. Our base is what we built last year less uh, the rollback. We end up with 5.36 mills. This now, this uh, 5.36 mills, which is called revenue neutral. So if you have 5.36 mills, 
divide by 6.219 mils, you come up at 86%. 5.36 is the difference between the 6.219 mils and the 11.579 mils. That's the difference. Then when you have the divide by the base, which is 6.29, that's how we come up with 86%. Uh, 86%. It does not mean that the tax has been increased, but we could not use the 11.579 as our base because it was not on the city of South Fulton that built it. It was a combination of city of South Fulton and Fulton County. Now we are taking that to ourselves. So that's the reason why we are ending up at 86. That's not because it's a requirement of the government. The state ha requires us to show what we built last year and what we are intending to build now. Even though it's the same meals, but we had to show. So it's the calculation and the requirements of the law that makes us to show like we are increasing tax by 86%. It's the same bills that you got last year to be the same other than the increase of the assessment. That will be the only difference. The increase of the assessment makes the difference, but it's the same meals Last year it was split Fulton County and South Fulton. Here is the same illustration that we have made 4.43 plus 7 point, you come up with 11. That was in 2017. And the next one is the same 7.149 plus uh, less this rollback, 0 0.930, you end up with 6.1, 6.19, uh, that is the, our. Uh, rollback. Then you get in here 7.149 plus, that was for foot on count last year, we end up with the same 11.57 mils. It's the spread that is making, putting us in that uh, situation. Next year we will not have a spread so there will nothing like this one will not happen next year. And here's the information in case you want to sit down with you that we can go through on the explaining this tax um, mills, uh, including the homestead exemptions. If you need to sit down with you or have some additional questions, this is the number that you can call. Councilwoman Gilliard. Um, <coughs> some of the burden 
because of the property assessment increases. So um, I'll defer to, to whatever you have to say. Uh, so if uh, you bring it to 11, now proposed 11.579 and you bring it to 11.25, we are going to have a shortfall of what we proposed about um, 963,000. If that's the marriage rate you are going to adopt, that's a direct directive of the council to staff to go and redo the budget that we can find out where we can make the cut. But if you have specific areas that you want, then the, um, we'll work with the city manager where to, if that's what you are going to make the cut, but that's the proposal. The proposal is the manager is that this is what uh, we want to be accomplished with this uh, 11.579. If you adopt less than that, there's no way out. We have to recalculate and see uh, where the cut will be. Have. Will be. Yeah. Be this question, please. Yeah, um, very quickly, could you just pull up that graphic again with the debt service and the debt obligations? And to be clear, last year we borrowed twelve million dollars. So what I want to say to the audience, because you all are our community leaders, um, and and please take this back to the people who aren't in the room and the people who walk out of the room. We borrowed twelve million dollars last year. So things cost what they cost. They cost what they cost. Everybody wants to see more garbage collection, more trash picked up, more police. They cost what they cost. We'll either pay for it now or we'll borrow money and pay for it. And anything, anybody who knows anything about credit knows that, that borrowing money affects your credit and paying money back affects your credit. And cities have a credit rating. And we don't have a credit rating yet, but we're gonna get one. So uh, how, we, how we manage the money that we have and the money that we borrow will affect our credit rating. And if, and if we want things, we gotta pay for it. You can't go swimming in the water and not get wet. That's it. Councilor Wilkins. Well, I'll call the previous question. I'll call the previous question. Second. Okay. The property will be second. We'll call the previous question. Uh, any comment, discussion? All those in favor, call the previous question. That passes. Mr. Fred, would you read the previous question? Yes, the previous question was a motion made by Council. Member Willis, seconded by Council Member Khalid to adopt the proposed millage rate at 11.579 mills. There's already been probably moved and second and spoken. That is via a resolution, by the way. That's spoken. That passed. Five days, two days? Yes. At this time, I'll accept the motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. Proper move to second the discussion. See you all the next round. See you all the next round.